We're doing the IB November 2015, Paper 2, starting in with Section A, which is approximately 75 marks, and I'm now going to do Question 1 with you. In the diagram, so immediately my eyes go to the diagram, okay, and we've got our y-intercept and our x-intercept. Okay, let's read. AB is drawn with A, 0, 6, which we saw, B is 12, 0, and M is the midpoint of AB. And then it tells us a very important thing. It says that A, M, C, O, is a cyclic quad. Right, so now I'm doing it as if I'm in the exam with you and giving you ideas, so I'm writing the paper. So my immediate reaction would it be that the fact that they gave me that this here is a cyclic quad, automatically I can go and make a deduction. I'm very quick to make deductions because I know it's going to help me. So because that's 90, then the opposite angles add up to 180. So I've got that as 90. Right, now, let's read the first question. Yay, only two marks. That's all it is. Okay, that's good. Find the midpoint. You have the formula on your data sheet, so they won't give you a mark for the formula. So you can go straight to the answer. And the answer is, you're going to say naught plus the 12, right? So I'm going to do it mentally. Naught plus 12 is 12 divided by 2, and I get that to be 6. And then I'm going to take my y's and I'm going to add them. 6 plus 0 is 6 and then divide by 2 is 3. And then immediately I put it onto my diagram. I always put all my info onto the diagram so that I can easily go and work with it. Right, the B part. Okay, so we've got to remember what we did. So here we found this to be 6 and 3. All right. And I've got that as 90. So write down, giving reasons, the size of C, M, A, and hence determine the equation of M, C. Well, we've got to give a reason. So C, M, A is equal to 90 degrees, reason, opposite angles of cyclic quad. So now we've got to go and find the equation of MC, well, we see the 90 degrees, and immediately I'm going to find the gradient of AB. So I'm going to go and do the MAB, and that is easy. We can do rise over run. So I'm rising 6, and I'm running 12, and I can see it's a negative gradient. So I get my gradient to be negative 6 over 12, and so I get it to be negative a half. <clears throat> Therefore, the gradient of MC because it's perpendicular, is going to be the inverse, in other words, the opposite sign, and the reciprocal. So I get it to be a positive. Yes, it's running positive, And I get it to be 2. So now we have y is equal to 2x plus c. Now we just need to substitute a point that lies on the line mc. And the point is 6, 3. So I'm going to sub 6, 3. So we're going to get this to be 3 equals 2 times 6 is 12 plus C. And take the 12 across. I'm going to get 3 minus 12, which is minus 9. And so therefore, I get the equation to be Y is equal to 2X minus 9. Now what I do is, in the exam, I don't want to make mistakes on these, particularly these easier ones, all right? <clears throat> so I visualize. I think, okay, if I extended this line down, oh yeah and I extend the y-axis, I see, oh, it is going to be a negative y-intercept. So I get the feeling that my working is correct. <clears throat>